cracking. This is your boy, Mr. Too Hard to See. Man, do I got a treat for you. Check out this Pro Charge truck right here. Pro Charge, baby, on these fuels. Look at this setup, wheel and tire. Man, these are some big boys right here, you know? But I'm over here checking out my boy, Nate, at the Outlaw Performance Garage. And as I walk by showing you some of the toys, we gonna get to some amazing stuff inside of the garage. You know, um, I came over here because your boy is stepping up his fuel gain major for my Camaro, the San Quentin Camaro, you know, but check this out. We're gonna go ahead and look at some of his sweet toys here. Sitting on those Toil tires, looking extra hard. We got the Hellcat here with the candy paint. It's got the ghost flames on there and all that stuff, the skulls. Man, this ride is bitching. I'm telling you, you guys don't really want to see this one on the road. It's got some nice specs to this car. This is a new one, part of the fleet. He hasn't had it as long as some of the other rides, but it's fucking badass. Can't go wrong with a Hellcat, baby. Yeah, it's got the E85. <laughs> He's got E85 on here. We're 1,200 in injectors. Yeah, 1,200 injectors. 2.8 upper. All right, well, I'm going to just go ahead and <laughs> let the man himself speak. You guys might have seen this guy before. This is Outlaw Performance Garage. I'm going to go to the tag right here. You guys go ahead and follow that channel, support. This guy's doing major, major stuff. <laughs> and obviously, you see the Camaro. Now, this is the only guy that I know that I've met in real life who I believe has a car that's better than mine stepped up. <laughs> you know, and it's not too many times you guys will ever hear me say that. Yeah. Matter of fact, this is probably the only time that you guys will ever hear me say that. You know, I mean, this guy's got, the, this guy's got the full package. It was wrapped by Paradox, the rapper. You guys all know him on YouTube. I tried to holler at him, but, you know, that didn't go quite well. But I'm not looking for a rap because I love the Inferno Orange Metallic that my ride has. But we're going to go ahead and get into this motor. Now, this motor game is crazy. Talking about that big block 427 right here with the Kong 2650 blower. We got the Nick Williams throttle body on there. That, which is a 112. Look at the whole billet drive system on here yeah. and all this kind of stuff too now this car is being worked on it's uh in a project stage right now so obviously you can see some of the tools some of the things that's uh going on here but this thing is a fucking beast it is many he's got crazy exhaust crazy rims cutouts on here i mean this thing is absolutely bitching my brother if you don't mind i like to show the people on my channel the interior of this thing. Yeah, go ahead, man. Check it so, out. So, there it goes. Show the intake, though. Yeah. So, here is that uh, VIS racing carbon fiber hood that's fully wrapped. Right over here by the tool rack, we got a big boy. There that's it a is. five inch. <laughs> that's a true five inch. Yeah, I like that. Handmade over Look here at, at the that. Outlaw Performance Garage. Man, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. My boy, he's getting down. Not only is it big, it's functional, providing all that airflow. This thing is powder coated. Look at that. Looking like straight candy over here. <laughs> it and, then, and, and, then, and then as well as he's just spinning it around. Look at that. He's got a little drag pack right there. I mean, this dude just got more goodies than the goddamn candy store. I tell you. I mean, man. So let me go ahead and open up. Check out this cockpit. Look at that. He's got the carbon fiber touches on there. But look. Look at the seats, baby. Like he said, he's doing it big, man. Gauges and all that kind of stuff, too. Steering wheel next, carbon fiber with the LED pack. So, yeah, you guys hearing that? He's talking about joining that uh, carbon fiber steering wheel gang like myself. But he's going to go ahead and up it with the one with the LED version. And you guys know, um, I've said that before. If you don't know, I'll be doing the exact same myself at some point. But I'm heavy on my motor work as well. And I got too many upgrades that I need to focus on before I replace a carbon fiber steering wheel with another carbon fiber steering wheel. You know what I'm saying? So this is how we're doing it. I'm going to keep the video kind of short and sweet. I just wanted to let you guys see some of these goodies. So here's the stock motor. It made it to 768 rear wheel horsepower. And then it finally popped. Basically, we spun a bearing due to... Let's, let's, let's show them something. Let's show them the powder-coated valve covers that had the sandblasting 
material inside of it got caught up in the windage tray. See the windage tray here? The, the, the sandblasting material got caught up in here and stuck. Even though it was dipped in the cleaner and they just hung it, it was all up in the corner. See how there's no way to get out? And when I started the motor, all the bead blasting material seeped out of this uh, windage tray. And over time, it spun a bearing on this guy. It spun a bearing and we lost oil pressure with the camshaft and the bearing. So that was catastrophic. It ended up costing me a lot of money, but I learned a valuable lesson. It also happened to Mike Mike. I was going to race him with his 1,000 horsepower uh, Lexus. He also popped his motor the same way with the freaking uh, bead blasting material from powder coating his valve cover. So lesson learned. If you look it up on Google, it'll pop up. And, uh, never freaking powder coat your valve covers unless you do it a certain way where there's no windage tray. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. All right. Or I guess maybe you could have like crazy taped it off. But at the same time, I guess if you're powder coating, which you're baking parts, I don't even really know how a tape would maybe secure that or yeah, something. Yeah, no, because like they have to bead blast it with the sand yeah, blaster. Yeah. 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 So that's how it got stuck in there. Yep. Well, yeah, man, this is the Outlaw Performance Garage. This is your boy, Mr. Too Hard to See. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video like that. But stay tuned. Oh, also, I actually. Here is the fuel kit that I just bought from this guy. So I got the DSX tuning um, ox pump kit that I'm gonna drop on my car along with some ID 1050 injectors, which I'm buying those brand new for my build. So the San Quentin Camaro is definitely stepping his fuel game up. And this is kind of some of the last things I can do before I go ahead and send my car off to GP tuning deal with this guy named Matt and have him go ahead and get me all tuned up. So with race gas, they said that this system with the setup that you have will push 900 to 1,000 rear wheel with race gas. Yep. Like this. But with E85, it's only good for like 800 to 850 rear wheel horsepower with E85. So, um, yep, I have the uh, tap here. I got my uh, drill bit at the house. Also, um, I ordered a breather for my Holly LS valve covers on there. You guys will be seeing that pretty soon. I'm going to get this stuff installed this week. I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of update action on that afterwards. This is all like 6 a in lines and fittings and everything like that too. So it's going to be a super clean setup for my ride and all that. The last video I dropped, I said this is the last kind of update. But then I was able to talk to my tuner, and he told me um, that for me to run E85, I had to step up my fuel game. The 850 injectors I had will not work for the build unless I stay on pump pump gas. So I have some 850 um, injectors that I'll be selling. If you guys got 475, I'll go ahead and have those things shipped out to you. With the O-rings and everything like that, too. It'd be a really good setup. Um, I Like I said, I need more fuel for my build, and that's what we're going to do. But, man, look at just this. Time to just, guys, give you some, some sweetness right here. I mean, he's got the lower. I mean, this machine, you're talking about basically like 20K on motor right here. 427 big block LS with the fully ported Kongs blower. Wow. Valve covers, Mighty Mouse catch can over there. You know. I mean, he's kind of making me want to freaking pull my car apart and get some powder coating going on. But all right, guys. Feel like I'm blabbing. Uh, make sure you support my channel. Also support my guy, Outlaw Performance Garage. We definitely have two of the best looking fifth gens in California, but I think in an entire country. That's honestly the way I feel. And I'm not trying to brag or boast or anything like that, but we've just put time and nothing but quality into our cars. And uh, they kind of speak for themselves. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. And your boy is out. Peace.